This is a story that needs to be told. From New York, Jackie Reed goes inside her story. Good morning. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Sybil. Good morning, Tim. Uh, Kim. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Tuesday, everybody. And you guys are going to love this one. Okay, so as an African-American, if you learned that you had relatives over in Nebraska who were passing for white, what would you do? This morning, a real-life imitation of life. Mm. My guest this morning heard stories for decades about her family who moved away from the East Coast to pass for white in the rural Midwest. They had seven children who they never told that they were black. My guest finally decides to find her relatives and let them know that they have black family out here. I'm going inside her story with comedian and filmmaker Robin Cloud, who documents her experience of finding her family in the new docuseries, Passing a Family in Black and White, which premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Okay, so many questions, so little time, but let's begin (laughs) with the beginning. Willa, Willa Mae Lane, which is such a black mm-hmm. name, and her husband, Johnny, why did they decide to move to Nebraska and pass for white? Well, you know, I never got a chance to talk to them about it, but I can assume that living in Harlem in the 40s, from what I've heard from my family members, that Johnny could not find a job. Um, he was an engineer, and none of the white people would hire a black engineer at that time. Um, and he, I think started passing in actual in New York. Um, and then once he went out to Nebraska and was able to get a job, they just sort of kept the charade going, um, and, and embraced their, their whiteness. Yeah. And, and Willa Mae, you know, both Willa Mae and, and Johnny are deceased now. Um, Johnny mm-hmm. died first, but Willa, Willa Mae, I heard, um, even on her deathbed refused to even talk about the fact that she was black, correct? Yes, that's right. And so I guess for you, what made you want to do this? Because there were some members of your family that were like, they left us, we don't want anything to do with them. Um, But what made you want to seek them out, seek out um, their descendants? Well, the question that I always had was, well, maybe the kids are looking for us. um, Or maybe the kids have an inkling because if you've seen the film or you've seen photos you look in the mirror it's pretty hard to understand or to look at yourself and be like i'm 100 percent white i mean it's just impossible right because Um, they they told their kids that they were italian and some people thought that they were egyptian or greek right (laughs) exactly greek bohemian i mean they told them all sorts of things um and so my driving question was what if they're looking for us Mm -hmm. um and when I did finally uh, was able to talk to Becky Jo, you know, she Becky had been looking Joe. for us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. When I found Becky Jo, you know, she she had been looking for us, but I didn't think she was looking for a black family. That was right. a big surprise. Now, Willa Mae, um, she would come back to family reunions, even though she yeah. didn't admit to her family. Like, she would sneak off and come to you all's family mm-hmm. reunions. Yes, that's right. She had a sister, um, Aunt Eva, uh, who lives in the East Coast, and but Eva married a very dark-skinned black man, um, and had you know brown-skinned children, and so Willa Mae could come back and visit, but Eva and Shakespeare could not ever go to Nebraska, uh, because the you know they would reveal who they truly were. So they but, were yeah, not allowed. Came back to our, Yeah, they were not allowed. Um, But yeah, she snuck back to family reunions. We have her in pictures in the 80s, chilling with the whole family. (laughs) But she never told her kids anything. So you go to Nebraska um, and you're like, hey, surprise, I'm your black cousin and y'all are black too. (laughs) Um, What was the reception? Because I know you met with your cousins, Katie and Josh, um, who who kind of had heard stories but it, it basically kind of refused to say that now they're going to check the black box when it asks about race? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, going to Nebraska was really hard because I've been talking to Becky Jo for almost a decade over the phone and we mm. hadn't met in person. So after the family reunion, uh, Josh invited me to come out to Nebraska and I was really hoping to meet his dad because his dad was one of the original seven children. Um, and unfortunately his dad Mickey did not want to meet with me I think he was too angry not so much at me but like at his parents 
and he really didn't know where to place the anger. Mm. Um, so that was his reaction. And I think Josh was, Josh was open to it, but his sister Katie was still skeptical. Um, I guess, you know, she thought maybe I was lying, which I don't know why anyone would make this story up. But, <laughs> right. you, know, you look at pictures of, like, my grandmother and her grandmother, I'm like, hello. Like, <laughs> they look cousins. like, I mean, it's crazy. They look like sisters. So yeah. um, eventually she got a DNA test and was like, oh, okay, I guess you're right. <laughs> and did she share that DNA test with her family yeah. there in Nebraska? Yeah, she shared it with her family in Nebraska. Um, and, you know, they were forced to believe it and accept the truth. Um, but that hasn't changed Mickey's uh, reaction to me. He hasn't called me or talked to me. I still don't know if he's actually watched the series. Um, mm. So that would be an interesting follow-up to see how he feels about it now. So we know Mickey probably hasn't watched it. But since it's been out there, have you heard from others um, from the Nebraska uh, family who've heard this and reached out? Have other people reached out to you since your trip yes. and since this air? Yes, they have. It's been really interesting. All of the, all of my like female cousins from Nebraska and also there's like a Chicago contingent of the same family. They've all reached out to me um, and they've been very excited. They, they're shocked obviously. Um, but more than anything, they're excited to finally know their family history. Most of the men in the family don't want to talk to me. The mm. men, but the, and not yeah. so much, but the women are open to it. Yes, that's right. And did any, now once they got out there, all the seven children, they married white people, right? That's right. Yes. Did anybody, did anybody along the way marry somebody black or do you know what I mean? Did a black baby no, pop but up? Not knowing. <laughs> yes. Well, blackness, melanin did rear <laughs> its beautiful head. So, um, Janine, who's uh, Becky Joe's. Let's see. Well, the, the daughter, the granddaughter, actually. Let me wait. Hold on. Let me think about this. The daughter of one of the original seven. Her, she has, I think, seven children, mm -hmm. and I think about three of them are very, very brown skin. They have wow. great hair, but they are completely brown skin. Um, they didn't question that. <laughs> she said that when she was growing up, that she asked her mom, and her mom said that they were Sicilian. Right. Um, and, <laughs> and, and and there is a there's a sportscaster. Mike Tirico is one of those people who uh -huh. is very who yeah. looks like a black man, but always claims that he is Sicilian or, or of the Italian descent. And everybody's oh, like, yes, I've seen him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So is, know, is we're that, all like, mm. <laughs> yeah, we are. All, everybody is like, mm. that's a good and, one. And, and is that what your cousins look like? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. when I saw a picture, Robin, of the original seven in, in your series, I mean, the hair alone. Yeah. I mean, in the 70s, they all had afros. Yeah. Where do you think those pros were coming from? <laughs> <laughs> the Sicilians really. And then there was one little boy, and I don't know if this was Mickey who was in a class picture, and he looked so unhappy because he just looked like, I'm not, you know, it seems like he wanted to know the truth. Oh, that was Johnny. Yeah, yeah. That was like John the Third. Yeah. That was oh, okay. Well yeah, yeah. congratulations. How was it um premiering at Tribeca? Oh, it was amazing. It was my first time in the festival and we had a, a wonderful reception and now I'm just traveling the country, um, taking it to more film festivals. And, can, and will we be able to see yeah, it as see it this? goes across the country? Can we get a schedule of that? Yeah, it's also streaming online right now. So okay. you can just log oh. on to topic.com mm -hmm. um, forward slash passing. And you can watch all six episodes. Passing a family in black Topic. and white. Topic. Yeah, you want to see this one. It's good. And it's well done, um, Robin. The storytelling. Thank you so much. Really well Thank done. You. I'm going to go and see it just in uh, memory of my Aunt Willa. Who looked very oh. fair. Yep. Check the family record, y'all. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> Congratulations, Robin Clark. Good story, Jackie.